can't stop loving you So I've made up my mind To live in memory Of a lonesome time I know that's a terrible place to stop right there. Doesn't it make you mad? <laughs> Hey, if you want to hear the whole song, you have to listen to the cover that I did. Okay, I'll put a link to that cover down below in the in the description there. But anyway, uh, I'm just gonna keep it short because I want to jump right into this guitar lesson on I can't I can't stop loving you by Hank Lachlan. Now, uh, a lot of people have done this song, and I had a request from Daniel to uh, do a cover or a, a, a lesson on this song. I did a cover on it as well because I used to do both, just so you can follow along if you'd like to, or if you just want to listen, that's fine too. And uh, anyway, so it's a great song, and like I said, it's been covered by a lot of people but uh and i i'm gonna try to do it in the same keys he does and i don't always do that uh sometimes i get you know get in trouble for that i get chastised for not doing it in the same key that the artist did it in or whatever but you know it really doesn't matter but i do try to keep it if i can but but he sings a little high so hey if this is too high for you uh you know take the capo off and we're going to be playing in the D position, so basically D sharp or E flat, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, so you can take that off and just play it in D, give it, a, you know, be a little lower for you, uh, or you can, you know, just change the key completely and, you know, back it up to C or whatever you know, needed to to uh, to sing it, because that's really what matters. You know, you don't want to be straining your voice just because you're trying to stay in the same key that Hank Lachlan's in. So that's not that important. So anyway, just a uh, three chord country song today, and so I'm gonna show you these chords. And hey, if you could give us a thumbs up on this, subscribe to us, you would really helps us out. And uh, you got any comments or anything, please leave them down below. As long as they're good comments, you know, I delete the bad ones. But uh, I'm kidding, I don't. I leave them on there. I don't care. I'll, I'll, I'll respond to you even if it's a bad comment. I don't care. It doesn't bother me any at all. So anyway, but I would love to hear from you. And uh, anyway, we're going to jump right into this thing, okay? All right, so we're going to capo up one for this. And uh, we're going to be in D, key of D. We've got a G in there. Get that G however you want to. Sometimes I get it like that right there, just however. You know? And an A. Again, get it uh, a few different ways there. You know? And uh, three fingers or two fingers or one or whatever, you know. And that's all there is to it, and then it's pretty, uh, pretty simple strumming pattern as well. Um, I'll just use my mic so it's a little easier to hear me, maybe. But uh, so we're just alternating. Uh, so on the D, we're just fourth down up, third down up. On the G, we're sixth down up, fourth down up. And then uh, A, we're fifth down up, fourth down up. Okay, it's real simple. Uh, and uh, anyway, I'll, I'll I'll give you a little bit of a hint of something there that if I was playing this live, how, this, this is how I'd do it. But uh, I want to go ahead and do the, the go, go through the chord progression, and I'll show you what I would do if I was doing this song. Now it's not necessarily the way he's doing it either, but this is what I hear in my head, and I like to do sometimes. So, uh, but anyway, this is this is the way he does. It. So he just starts out. So you kind of want to get the tune in your head because he just starts out singing. You don't have to do that. You can strum the chord one time, or you could just. Uh, you know, just strum it one time down, or you could, you know, strum it. Uh, but, uh, but I'd, I'd, you know, probably just recommend strumming it one time down, or if you've got it in your head enough, you know, jump right into it. So here we go. I can't stop loving you. So we go right to the G. And so just down, fourth down. I've made up my mind. Back to the D. To live in memory of a lonesome times deep. Now that you actually, no, I'm sorry. This is where I want to add something, okay? This is the part I want to add a D seventh, okay? So it sounded like something like this. Uh, oh, lonesome times. that in the cover but I wanted to really bad but I listened to it and it just it doesn't sound like the instruments are really going to a seventh there but man I hear it and I love it you know just uh, but anyway you can add that seventh if you want to right there or, or leave it out all right so then uh, so if you go to the seventh you'd be there if not you just be in the either ways uh, you know fine okay and uh, then we go to I can't stop I can't stop It's useless to say, so I 
Just live my life in dreams of yesterday. And it's a G. Okay? And that's uh, that's the chorus. And uh, as a matter of fact, there's just one verse. There's So he opens up with that, the chorus. There's a verse. And then there's another chorus. There's no lead or nothing. You know, no steel guitar, no guitar stuff in between or fiddle or anything like that. Just a real short song. And so I'm going to do the verse. I'll do the verse and then uh, I won't do the chorus again, okay? Because there's nothing special even about the ending chorus. He doesn't slow down at the end or do anything, you know, fancy. He just he ends it on the G or ends it on the D, but he goes to the G, and, you know, just like he does kind of in between there. Uh, so here's the, uh, I don't know if I can do this right. I'm going to try to do this as best I can, uh, get the phrasing right. But anyway, uh, again, if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. You do it however you feel it, okay? You still kind of have the melody in there, even if you phrase it different than Hank did. Because like I say, I'm sure the other people didn't phrase it exactly like Hank Lockman did either. So anyway, so those happy hours. And, and again, that D7 would work here too. That we once knew. You see what I mean? That sounds good, but anyway, I didn't do it in the cover, so here we go. Those happy hours that we once knew. No long ago, still make me blue. And you could also even stop a few times if you. They say. That time, you could do that if you want to. He doesn't do that, just, just throwing it in there. Heals the broken heart. And here's the kind of high part. Again, you don't have to do it this way, but here's how he does it. But time, time has stood Steve. I didn't even do it right. I got all goofed up, did I'd stop the video, but I'm, I'm too big of an idiot to do that. I'm, I, I'd have to. To redo the whole thing. I ain't got time for that. So I'm just going to leave it in there and go with it. All right. Here we go. They say the time. I'm going to start there. Heals a broken heart. Time has to steal. Since we've been apart. I still didn't do it right. Man, I can't get it. Oh, I got it too low. They say the time. Since we've been apart, I can't stop loving you. So you gotta stay up there up for a little ways, just whew, way up there in the rafters. But anyway, so like I say, if that's too, don't strain your voice. If it's too high for you, like it was for me there for a little bit, just take the capo off and back it up a little bit. Do it in C if you need to. If you do it in C, it'd be C, F, and G. Okay, so instead of D, G, and A, that'd be the same. Just be C, F, and G. All right. Anyway, I hope that was helpful to you, Daniel, and, and some of you other folks that stayed around for the whole video and didn't, didn't, uh, didn't hit the uh, stop button or the mute button uh, when I got crazy, or even in the beginning. Some people just like, oh, it's him again, so let, let me go to the next video. And that's okay. I'm not offended by that. Just don't leave me a message about it. I don't want to hear about it. But uh, <laughs> I actually kind of like to hear about it. I don't know. Maybe I need some more feedback like that. I'll just stop the channel completely. But anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you. And like I said, be sure to check out the cover. Uh, and uh, all we've got a lot of old songs we've done out there for uh, you know Hank Williams and, and my Lord Buck Owens and Merle Haggard and, and George Jones. There's a lot of great stuff. Waylon Jennings and Johnny Cash. Be sure to check those out. If you could, like I said, give us a thumbs up on this. Subscribe to us if you would. Uh, leave us a comment uh, down below and uh, uh, check out our uh, links in there in the description as well as the link to the cover. Check out other videos out there. We'll see you all in the next one. Thanks.